Alrighty, so this video is basically about the technology that's in uh, newer model cars. This car is a 2018 uh, Subaru Outback uh, Turbo model and most of the features are activated via the control on here. It has got the paddle shift as well um, and you'll see as I, as I ride, as I drive, um, it'll give me lane identification as well, um, distance between the front car, so it'll let me brake at a certain distance. So if I were to increase this, you'll see the lines up here telling me to keep a greater distance on from the other vehicles and then I can decrease that to a close range as well the car pretty much drives itself um, on the highway it stays within the lanes and all the other controls here for your phone and whatever gizmo so yeah so this, this video will be showing you how it works in a bit of traffic and we'll see how that operates um, at the moment I've set the cruise control on I can distance the safety feature between myself and the other cars and I can also uh, stay within the lanes right so as I'm driving now I ain't using anything and here's a test my foot is clearly off the car will stay in between the lane I think oh there you go lane detection put it on oh, I've got to turn here It'll pick up speed by itself. See it flash, there's no car in front of it. I'm still not accelerating, but the car picks up by itself. And it detects it from in there. So now those two lines have come up. It's detected the gap. It knows there's a car in front of me. It's not gonna let me get outside the lane. See, lane detection. Okay, so now I've set the accelerator, uh, sorry, the speed to 35 kilometers. The vehicle is identified that it's ready and it's holding. I'm not on the brake or anything. So what will happen is when the light turns green, the car will drive off by itself and it will speed up to uh, 35 kilometers per hour. Let's see when the, it should actually come up on the dash and say to me that the vehicles in front have moved. And it'll ask me to touch the accelerator to move on. Anything for them. Come on, traffic lights. Almost. Okay, it's green. Let's watch what it does identifies the car's moved, I have to touch the accelerator to drive off and that's how it works it'll identify if there's a car in front of me all I've got to do is increase the, the um, speed so I've set it now to 45 kilometers it detects there's a car in front I'm not braking the car is braking on its own And again, the car holds, detects that the car's moved, I've got to move forward. Okay, I've set the speed now, 55 kilometers per hour. It'll hold. Let's take it up to 60. I don't know why it did that. It just jammed on the brakes for some reason. <laughs> okay, because I was going more than 60. Okay, it detected going down the hill. As it has now. It slowed me down to 60. Cars are overtaking me. Yeah, it detected there's a car in front. Now there's no car in front of me, it'll speed back up to whatever the speed is. Not bad, not bad. I'll just imagine how good those uh, Teslas would be. And obviously some of the upmarket Mercs. Wee ya! Oh, that was a big jump. Oh 
Mustang. Look, I'll just do one more thing. Look, it's detected the lines on either side of the car. I'll let go of the steering wheel. It's pulled it back in. It's still the same, see? There you go. And it keeps pulling a little bit on the steering wheel. Keep hands on steering wheel. It's noticed my hands are off the steering wheel and it's trying to drive the car itself. Now it's noticed that there's no car in front of me. So it'll just sit on 80 unless I increase the speed to like a normal cruise control. I think it's pretty handy. Um, it could co cause, I suppose, some drivers to get too confident with it and get distracted to do other things. But not having to use your feet at all, I think is a great idea, especially for anyone who does a lot of driving. Anyway, so that's a uh, brief video, just showing um, some of the latest technology in these cars, this is a Japanese car, so I'm guessing it would some of the big German makes would already have it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, like anything, guys, hit it up for a subscribe. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Again, this is a 2018 Subaru uh, Outback, the turbo diesel model, and yeah, it's pretty handy.